All right, so Vince Staples, friend of the show, did a, um, a talk in Chicago this weekend for Pitchfork's Inside Out series, uh, during which he talked about Eminem's freestyle at the BET Hip Hop Awards. He said, quote, it was trash, he can do better. Now, we love Vince Staples, he's very blunt, <laughs> never scared to share his opinion. People got very outraged. He eventually addressed this on Twitter saying, please go back to that tweet. No, nope. okay, the Eminem statement was all in good fun. I like him and Kim. Pitchfork took it out of contents because they're thirsty. Let me get these jokes off. Um, also, he <laughs> had more fun on Instagram. Let's take a look at the video. Look, my nigga with it too. We in the house eating carne inside a burrito. Get in the, get in the, get in the camera, dog. Get in the camera. Get in the camera. The homie, the homie. Now get in the camera, my nigga. The homie. Burrito. Carne inside the homie just made some Eggo waffles, you feel me? We making the white people mad all day. Shout out to big homie Gaga. Shout out to big homie Oprah. Shout out Morehouse Cottage. Fuck all you niggas, cub. Damn yeah, homies. I'm going to say what the fuck I want, nigga, bitch. <laughs> I this love it. This a fucking Yo, truth, man. man. I would love to hear Joe's insight on this because he has laid himself on a sword with anything with a couple of ours in defending them. Mm -hmm. So what did you feel about his tweets and his sentiment regarding to the entire Eminem freestyle? Nothing. Nothing. All right, so the thing is, he's basically saying he was expressing his honest opinion as a fan, saying, I didn't think it was that good. And people started turning it into the race issue. So he said if he said that line about calling the bald man. fist nah, and Donald, up, they would have been like, get this dude out of here. Oh, look, you can't say nothing when you vigorously came in here defending how M bodied, in your opinion, and you were like, yo, he's great, he's this, it's M, it's blah, blah. You can't be dick riding at that high level and then see someone who verbatim, this was quoted by Pitchfork, in the podcast interview, he said the M freestyle was trash. You dick riding that much, and now he said it's trash, and you're like, oh, I like Vince. Oh, it's nothing. Really? No. That's his opinion, and I have my opinion. I have I've been trying to make that, that point for a long time. Like sometimes you point think, everybody has a different opinion? Yeah, you've been killing for my opinions the whole time. You have nothing to say about his. Here's the thing. Vince made a very <clears throat> valid point. And while I don't agree with him that it was trash, I, and by the way, he did go at Pitchfork to say, man, I wasn't, I was kind of playing around. I, I definitely believe he doesn't believe it was that good. Uh, he continued to say that on Twitter. He tweeted so much. That's why we can't put all the tweets up. He was saying this. Tell us. I love the message, but the actual freestyle, devoid of the message, was, eh, could have been better. I'm an M fan. And... From M, I expect higher quality. I thought that was perfectly legit. I think Vince Staples is someone who we believe, and again, I always say everyone should be able to have an opinion, but we should also be able to look at the person having the opinion and be like, your, your opinion doesn't matter. Vince Staples, if he speaks on another rapper's lyricism or lyrical potency or whatever, like I believe we should take his opinion serious. Him critiquing Eminem on that front, I took him serious. So let me get this straight. You black out on me for chastising you for all of your opinions, but not really having any, anything to say about him having an opinion. Then you follow that with arguing that everyone has an opinion. However, we don't listen to or respect some people's opinion. That is what you just said. But if you didn't really interrupt me, I would finish. I didn't. You was finished. No, I was not finished. Well, let me hear it then. So my whole point in this was that Tell me. with him saying that, right, uh, just, we just have to e evaluate that there's a separation between the point you're trying to make, which a lot of people champion. There's nobody. The point that who's trying to make? Eminem. Oh, okay. the, the whole point in his freestyle where he's standing up for black people, everybody's rocking with it. But we also got to separate that. That was the biggest thing that, pe what that are idiots and from? most of them are Eminem fans. They couldn't understand. Couldn't understand what? That you could have a message, but that's separate from just evaluating raw skill and the content, right? Like, 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 for example, I mean, I thought Yeezus was a great album in trying to be futuristic and progressive. The content and the actual what was actually done was trash. Now, those are two separate things. I could praise one thing and say the other thing is trash. Same with M. The message is great for Vince. The delivery or his, lyric, his lyricism are you wasn't arguing, up to point. I don't get confused. Are you I'm, arguing Vince's opinion or yours? I, I'm saying I agree with him. Yes, because he got attacked by Eminem fans. Because early. I myself got attacked by Eminem fans because people like... Because you're like, nobody. No, because people like you 
have voiced the opinion that Eminem is beyond critique. Not you true. Dick ride the motherfucker All so right. hard. That's, he's beyond critique. Can you critique. see That's or agree true. with what do you think about Vince's point here? Beyond critique from you. Mm. Beyond critique from you. But not beyond Vince. critique from you. Vince is MC. Which is also a point you just made. And fans are critiquing. So, so basically, you're saying a fan could never critique. So, so let, let, let's get to what you're saying. A fan can't critique. A, a fan has an unsavvy ear and is listening to different things and critiquing different things than the MCs are. So what part don't you understand about that? You don't understand why no. your critique and Vince's critique would be held a little differently? I'm done talking to you. I had this conversation with Vince on Saturday. I saw the tweets, I laughed at all of them. They, they were funny, they were hilarious to me. Vince is outspoken, Vince is blunt. Vince is my little bro because of all of those things. Mm -hmm. I fuck with it. I told Vince that him and I are the wrong two people to have this Eminem conversation. I'm biased because M is M and I'm signed to M. Right. You're biased because you're on the West Coast, you cool with YG, you cool with all the niggas that have been saying, hey, why aren't we getting this type of response for our Trump shit? We answered that question. Vince, you smart enough to know the answer to that question. You answered it in your fucking tweets. So I'm able to separate content of the verse from the verse. I would love for Vince to come up here and have that conversation. But again, we are both biased. Him and I. Okay. I mean, facts is facts. Okay. However, it, and, and it makes it so hypocritical that we're talking about this and you're saying who's qualified to say what and who's not. Because who is attacking Vince for saying what he did? Eminem fans. Which means if you are saying, I'm not qualified. Eminem fans ain't qualified. It's the same thing. If you're saying only an MC could be should have that should have that discussion, well, if no other MC, and by the way, we saw people like even Joey Badass say, "Oh, you're right." So if right Emin, right. he co-signed Vince Staples in what he was saying, so if we're seeing other MCs co-sign him, other and we're too. saying that the fans who may be untrained or untrained or unsavvy because they're not lyricists or they never rapped. That means so all the Eminem fans getting at him, they're idiots. That, that's what we mean, right? I mean, that's what you want to say. Let's call, call it what you want. I'm, my okay. point is very clear. Professional, unprofessional. <laughs> two different views, what two different landscapes, two different opinions. That, that is it. However you want to interpolate that, have a blast. <laughs> and you also admit that you're, the only person who, I, who I've seen even say I would fall on the other side of the spectrum other than what Vince said is you and you clearly admit you're biased. So... I mean, I am biased. That's statement number one because I'm honest. Statement number two is Eminem raps better than everybody that's critiquing him. So? Period. What, what, what are we talking about? I think next? actually just looking for you to say that it's okay for <laughs> no, him no. to be able to criticize M, which it you're not okay going to say. But not really, no, wait, then wait, you wait, get wait, out of no, for no, it. He want no, me, no, no, to, he want no, no. me to, to not respond to that. That last statement you, can't critique about that last statement you just said. That's where it muddies the water. We know M raps better than all these niggas who could talk about him. I mean, Vince admitted that. But that doesn't mean you can't critique a particular verse or you a can. particular cypher freestyle. And that, that, that was a discussion here, which a lot of people took offense to. You didn't care because that's your guy. You could have that conversation no, I with him. I don't but you don't care. No, wait, time out. But I, that's not, I, don't, I don't not care because that's my guy. I just love people like Vince who are not sensitive, who you can just, who don't personalize. Everything. I love niggas like that. Mm -hmm. I talk aggressive. Me and him come from the same club, so I enjoy that. But it's not, that's not why. That's not why at all. What are you talking about? Because that's my guy. Mm. I don't care about other people. They don't affect me. They don't alter anything. You could think M is whack. He could think M is whack. Everybody could think M is whack. It don't change how I feel about him. I don't roll with the crowd. I roll with my opinion that I can back up at any time. <laughs> I enjoyed Vince tweeting. I followed Word. him, by the way. I love Eminem. Vince is hilarious. You got I, the jokes off, man. I think, I think he should shut the fuck up. If we, Vince? Again, yeah, again, wouldn't you, wouldn't you want the same way when we talked about that YG and, uh, you know, the topic, it came up like two days before last week where they thought they should get me. He said it was on a Henny. And right. My, I, I expressed the same exact sentiment. If y'all truly feel like that, you want a white man echoing your same sentiment. So why would you do all you can to put a dent in that? That is the conversation I would have with, with Vince. I wouldn't have a conversation about his opinion on M's verse. I don't give a fuck about his opinion on M's verse. Well, well that's what we, see, we're not going to get back into this again, but it, it's twofold. Like, he loved it. Like, he was saying, we need him to say that. I just didn't think he was good as a fan. 
well, the verse, the, the the con, the the way how he phrased the verse, like some of the lines, it would be a miss if anyone else said it. Yeah, because anyone else can't rhyme orange with seven different things. <laughs> okay, possibly. all right. I feel like we talk. No, good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. yeah. I feel like we're not gonna get anywhere with this one. 